Akbar, our top story this morning. Pro-Russian separatists in Ukraine say they've recovered an object from the crash site that's believed to be the plane's black box. Scores of bodies have also been loaded onto trains where they'll be kept in refrigerated carriages until international experts arrive at the scene. Our Sun Jung-in starts us off. The footage shows a rescue worker holding an orange color device as he walks through a wheat field in the rebel controlled Donetsk region. The worker calls out the word fly recorder in Russian while carrying what appears to be the black box, which may help solve the mystery behind the downed plane. We found a key element of the plane. We presume it is the black box. Alexander Borodai said the device is now being stored in Donetsk and that they are ready to hand it to the International Civil Aviation Organization. We are keeping the black box in Donetsk. We are waiting for international civil aviation representatives to arrive. The rebel leader also said the bodies of victims recovered from the crash site will remain in refrigerated containers at a train station in the town of Torres in the meantime. He denied allegations that rebels were trying to tamper with evidence. International monitors had reported that the human remains were headed to an unknown site, with conductors not disclosing where the bodies would be going. Meanwhile, Western leaders, including Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte, have urged Vladimir Putin to put pressure on pro-Russian separatists to allow complete access to the crash site. President Putin has one last chance to show the world that he is willing to help. The Prime Minister of the Netherlands, which lost the most citizens in the crash, said his country was furious about the manhandling of corpses and urged Putin to show his serious about helping international rescuers bring the bodies home. An urgent vote is expected to take place within the next 24 hours in the UN Security Council on a resolution that would condemn the downing of the plane and demand those responsible to be held accountable. Sun Jung-in, Arirang News.